Today, I'm gonna to walk you through what the Trust Wallet is, how to use it, and also, most importantly, how to set it up. The Trust Wallet is a multi-coin cryptocurrency wallet. It's available for your phone, Apple, as well as Android. But most importantly, it's one of the best ways to interact with the Binance Smart Chain. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. The Binance, Binance Smart Chain, is basically an Ethereum clone blockchain and revolves around decentralized finance and basically all these hot, new, crazy cryptocurrency tokens are launching on it or let's just simply migrating to that blockchain proving to offer some of some of the most lucrative cryptocurrency investments ever. Obviously, this is never financial advice, but you are on the Voscoin YouTube channel, and we are aiming to be the leader in third-party Binance Smart Chain content. Some would say that we already are, but that sounds a little arrogant, and I don't want to come off like a douche. Let's go, douches! So that's enough talking, let's jump into the review. But first, 10 seconds of tales. Our resident Shiba Inu and Dogecoin or whatever Doge fork they've got going on this week. Let's do it. Here's a quick message from our month's video sponsor, Compass, who are aiming to become the best marketplace for the purchase of Bitcoin mining ASICs and the best place to find cheap power prices at verified mining co-location facilities around the world. Mine with Compass with our link in the video description below. Giving away $1,000 of Binance BNB coins on the Binance Smart Chain this month. Literally, all you've gotta do is drop your BNB BSC address in the comments below and timestamp your favorite part of today's video. All right, guys, let's jump into the Trust Wallet review, which claims to be the most trusted and secure crypto wallet. But the key thing is that it allows you to buy crypto, store crypto, collect NFTs, exchange, and earn crypto. And this isn't a sponsored review on the Trust Wallet or anything. This is just straight up, honest, third-party review. I got nothing to show you, okay? First things first, why would you use the Trust Wallet? Okay, the multi-coin thing is cool, but focusing on Binance Smart Chain is the simple fact that this works as a BNB main blockchain wallet, as well as a Binance Smart Chain BSC wallet. They're different, notice the BNB in front of Binance Chain addresses, and then the OX in front of Binance Smart Chain addresses, mirroring Ethereum. You even have the ability to buy BNB coin right from the app. But if it doesn't work for you, then I recommend you buy your BNB coins off of the crypto.com app, which we have a link in the video description below and you get 25 bucks for free or buy with Binance US, another shameless plug for an affiliate link. But let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. You're gonna go to your app store, whether you know that's for your iPhone or Android device, and then you're gonna navigate to the Trust Wallet. And once you do that, it's pretty simple. You download it, it auto installs, you open the app, and then you click on create a new wallet, or you import a seed phrase. For example, you could import the wallet seed from your MetaMask address and link these accounts if you'd like to do so, or you can create a fresh one. This is an example of your recovery phrase and, and what that looks like. This is the key to your coins, okay? You have to safe store this. Right? And if you're worried about it, make another copy and give it to someone you trust all your money with because that's what this is. It's so incredibly important. So once you do that, either create your new wallet or you restore the seed, then you'll be given access to the app. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. You have the wallet function. There's a bunch of coins you can add. I mean, this, while it really does have a lot of support for a lot of coins, it's kind of easy because most of them are ERC20 tokens or tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, as well as BEP20 tokens, which are Binance tokens on the Binance smart chain. They also give you the ability to earn a passive income with your crypto, like a whopping 23% interest on your BNB. Sure, it's no yield farm, but it's not bad. In the settings, you can have multiple wallets added or activated at the same time, which I think is a very nice feature. You can turn on things like price alerts 
and you can also activate the camera giving it the ability to scan qr codes which can make sending cryptocurrency much easier and there's an app lock function if you're worried about someone accessing it And again, it's really easy to buy the BNB in here, which is one of the main selling points. But notice the third party provider is Simplex, and you're gonna have a bad time as a US citizen trying to use them, especially with a credit card. Your best bet is using a debit card. But hey, it's up to you, but it's most likely against your terms of service with your lovely bank to even buy cryptocurrency. Again, especially with a credit card. One of the cool things about the Trust Wallet is the fact that it has a section for collectibles as well, which are ERC721 tokens or NFTs, you know, those digital collectible things. And they have their own built-in DEX or decentralized exchange, giving you the ability to easily swap from one coin to another. But you may notice, especially if you're in the US, the coolest thing about the Trust Wallet, their browser which enables you to browse for decentralized applications dapps isn't there the dap browser is the coolest thing on the trust wallet and the issue in the ios version is that apparently to comply with apple app store guidelines they had to turn it off but for some weird reason it's actually really easy to turn back on and make the trust wallet actually useful again and so I'll link out this, this guide below and I'll even just paste this so you can easily copy and paste it. But you quite literally just put trust colon backslash backslash browser underscore enable and it adds it back to the app and it works. I did it. And as a US citizen, I'm stoked about that. America, America. So let me walk you through this. I'm recording the screen on my phone and then you click over to the browser and it suggests a bunch of dApps to you, right? So maybe you're just thinking, oh, I wanna use PancakeSwap. You click PancakeSwap, it's right there. You click connect and just like that, you're connected, which is very, very cool. And completing a trade on the Binance Smart Chain couldn't be easier. Let's say I wanna go ahead and put 0 0.01 BNB into safe moon because Dave Poitnoy is pumping it as hard as he can on uh, crypto Twitter. Lovely time to be alive, right? So they have taxes when you buy and sell their coin. So you need to increase the slippage uh, so that that can basically take place. So I just did that as you saw on the screen. And from there, it shows me my wallet address, the dApp I'm using, the network fee, which is very high right now uh, via this wallet at $2 for this transaction. And I'll go ahead and click complete. Just like that, you made a decentralized exchange trade. No KYC, just me and my private key trading crypto. Literally as cool as it gets. One of the things I really like about the Trust Wallet is also that it sends you notifications and lets you know when smart contract calls have been executed. And basically what that means in nerd, translated to normal, is that your wallet did something. And you better hope it was you, right? Related to you. Otherwise, <laughs> you may be compromised, which is the last thing that anybody wants. Trading on PancakeSwap, is really cool and it's kind of like your gateway into the into the DeFi world which it's really just a clone of sushi swap which was a clone of uniswap and so forth but then you start looking at other alternatives up and coming things and that's why i'm really excited about wheat and so you saw i just put in the address or the url in the browser down here wheat.growthdefi.com what they are, they're a yield farm, simply put, right? So they claim to be the most sustainable yield optimizer on the Binance Smart Chain. To keep it simple, like yield farming is kind of like level two DeFi stuff. And it's pretty simple. You click over to their vaults and you notice their APRs or interest rates. They're not insane. And they vary on numerous factors. One, just on the profitability 
of their algorithm and yield farming that they have here. They also have their own native token and they're born out of the growth DeFi ecosystem. So there's a couple projects uh, kind of correlated and behind this, as well as a full team of developers and so forth. But we've talked about growth DeFi and some of their other projects before, but you can see right here, I'm farming, I think, a really substantial amount of wheat, at least especially to me. And it's very easy. I compound it pretty frequently because it's a high interest rate and I wanna get more coins in there earning. And if I have more coins in the yield farm earning, then I'm earning more, simply put. We come down here, they have a market cap of less than $2 million. They've already burned almost 7,000 wheat, which is with the profits they make, they buy back coins and they burn them and they redistribute uh, some of the earnings to the people contributing he here in the yield farm because like without, it's the basic concept of like the more money you have, the more money you can make with it in essence. And every project carries a risk and so forth. So let me explain what I'm doing. So I'm, in, I'm hitting the vaults here in the yield farm and I just harvested my stake, click max, and just input the maximum amount of wheat that I have, and I'm basically compounding, right? So I earned wheat from staking wheat, and you can also stake other coins, and then I just put more in there. For example, I also put my cake pair in here. And so I was staking cake on the pancake swap exchange, and I was staking cake to earn cake. But I decided that I like the interest rate on wheat with uh, their yield farm here better. And just personally, I'd rather be stacking coins that are associated with a $2 million market cap as opposed to a $8 billion market cap. But that's just me and my personal opinion. Again, you guys can do whatever you want to do. One thing that you haven't seen is that you also have to enable the vault, which basically gives their smart contract right their decentralized application here the ability to interact with you your wallet and your coins and that's okay you have to be able to do that to interact with any of these things so if you do want to go ahead and start yield farming it doesn't have to be on wheat you can use whatever platform you want and with that you you will have to enable and then from there you will be signing transactions just like clicking plus and and putting more in just to click over real quick and show you these you know browser point of view uh, the decentralized exchange pancake swap and then also the wheat yield farm this is what their false site looks like on desktop uh, specifically you know you can stake which is like single asset farming here um, or join their pools you can do things like cake they recently added uh, auto cake staking which is pretty cool but again the returns here are 136 percent and we click over to wheat this is what their full page looks like here uh, you know we click over to the vaults and the reason I decided to go ahead and stake my cake here again was because I think there's a bigger potential upside with the wheat token being such a low cap. And then also the, the APY here, the interest rate that they're paying out in comparison is basically double. But I use all of this stuff right here on my browser with the, with the uh, MetaMask wallet. I'm using the same private key attached to my trust wallet. So they're actually the same address doing the same stuff here. Uh, but this, you know, just a quick note, this makes it really easy. I can, you know, that was a really wash for as far as the gas fee goes, or transaction fee is what a gas fee means. But basically that's how easy it is to interact uh, from MetaMask a browser-based wallet, which I already have video tutorial guides walking you through what MetaMask is, how to set it up, and then what the Binance Smart Chain is and their specific Binance Smart Chain wallet and how to set that up. And then also how to set up MetaMask for the Binance Smart Chain. These are all things that you can do with your computer. A key note is with the Trust Wallet, it is only for iOS and Android devices right now. I don't know why they don't have a MetaMask basically for conversion yet. But hey, it's probably something we will see in the maybe near future. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel for more crazy video guys like that. My background stop, that's sad. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know if I missed anything. Uh, just simply if you have some questions, if you're having problems trading coins, make sure that you have the correct address in on the decentralized exchange. You can look up the contract address and paste it in and it will tell you, hey, we found this token. That's what you want to trade, right? And you'll say, yeah, I hope this works out. <laughs>
<laughs> and then also after that, if you're having trouble trading specific coins, try to increase the slippage. Some of them have built-in fees and taxes and whatever else for better and worse. And that may be something holding you back. Try 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, 20%. Anything above 25% starts to get really reckless because slippage means that you could basically get up to 25% less. And nobody really wants 25% of their money missing or their coins. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next video.